Hi guys, Zyga here, welcome back to another video. Now before this video starts, I'm gonna make a quick little announcement. So a few days ago I hosted a giveaway and basically before I announced the winner, I'd like to thank all of you guys for participating because we got over 250 unique participants, which is really crazy because I thought we'd get like 40 or 50. So thank you so much for your support and thank you for entering. Either way, the winner's on the screen right now, so a big round of applause to you. And either way, thanks everyone for participating. But basically an email has been sent out to you with all the details about the giveaway and how to to claim your prize but to kind of make it quick and short you can choose between a gaming license or a steam gift card now all of the details about that will be in the email as i said before but just to clarify the gaming license is a one year gaming license with full access so it's the gaming studio 2 as well either way thank you so much for participating once again and another announcement will be at the end of the video with metabulous because we're working on a cool new project I don't want to spoil it a bit, watch the video, watch the end and have a good day, drink your water, stay healthy and yeah Hi guys, so currently I have Unity Project open. The reason for this is because I'm going to be working on a little side project of creating a multiplayer game in Unity. Now this game is going to be 2D and I'll go into the details of that in a minute, but just I need to point out that the Awoken devlogs will still be going on. I'm not going to cancel it just because I'm starting a new project. Basically, I want to do some Unity on the side, so I'm starting this small little project and I feel like it'll be really cool. Either way, the whole point is that this project will probably be released before Awoken. In fact, it'll definitely be. I don't want to spend too much time on this project, I just want to make a cool multiplayer game that you can play with your friends. Either way, the thing that actually inspired me to create this game is because I wanted to play a game called Hero Siege with my friends. And in all honesty, I really liked the game and I wanted to sort of recreate it but in my own kind of orderly fashion I guess if you'd call it. Either way the whole point is I wanted to kind of recreate the, a multiplayer kind of top-down game so I figured it would be a good idea. Now I'm no Unity expert so if you do have any tips or videos of how to create multiplayer games please tell me down below and if I do anything wrong then also please let me know. I am new to Unity, I've literally only used Unity once which was on the 24 hour game challenge. Either way I'm gonna go through the sort of like ideas that I have for this game and what I currently have and this video is just going to be like an introduction in all honesty I'll probably do a couple of things in this video not that many but I guess it's time to show you what I have done so currently I have this little project and I need to mention the fact that a lot of this um, code and stuff I learned from Blackthorn Prod's old tutorials so I'll link his channel down below because he's a really awesome guy and I suggest you check him out either way I'm gonna show you the different um, kind of like stuff that I've got for this. So the actual tutorial that I used for the like because I have an inventory in this game is the Blackthorn Prod um, inventory tutorial which will also be linked down below. But basically we have this little player and the whole point of this game is that you're in this sort of like graveyard and you need to kill these undead creatures and monsters when you're um, with your teammates. And you slowly, slowly kill them until you get to these bosses and you kill these bosses and you try and complete this in the fastest time. So that's going to be the game mode. So this is the current character and I am planning on implementing a character customization. Now I was going to do this in this video but it seems a bit too complicated. And I will actually add it in but I want to release this video as fast as I can because of the announcements that were given earlier. And basically that's kind of the reason why I haven't added the customization. But what I have added is this little fog area and I've created a revolver sprite. So this is what I just made it look like. Just a really quick design in Photoshop and added a little shadow down below. The whole point is that there's going to be different classes so you can choose what type of class you have which is a thing that is actually in Hero Siege. So you'll be able to choose between different classes like Marksman, um, archer and stuff like such now i'm not going to add too many classes because it is going to be quite a short game for now but i will probably develop it like as i go on but right now all i have is the player moves there is an inventory working there is a health like um the player has a health system but you can't actually lose hearts you can gain hearts at the moment you have the gun that is working and the player is followed around with the camera so i'm going to show you what it looks like in game first of all so we're in game and this is what it looks like. You have this sort of like foggy groundish effect. And basically down below here you can press your coffin and this is your inventory. So you only get four inventory slots max. Now one of them is always going to be your weapon because you won't be able to pick up a weapon unless you've already like <clears throat> chosen your like um, class.
class so you can only choose your weapon at the start of the game when you choose your class but basically for now i've got it on the ground so you can pick it up like so very simple and the other three slots will be stuff like health potions and whatnot either way if you press the button the revolver sorry you equip it and this is basically going to be centered around the player and it just follows the mouse now currently this doesn't look too great however don't worry about that that will like change as i go along um, particularly the fact that if you go to this side, the revolver doesn't switch, which is something that I want it to do. Right now, you can fire bullets, and that works, and it's a very simple code. Now, these bullets do get destroyed after a certain lifetime, so that lag isn't produced, although your FPS doesn't drop, and I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. But basically, that's the kind of main whole idea of it. So it looks a little foggy, there is some basic animations, and that's about it. Now, there is a couple of few more sprites that I've added, and I've decided to show you those now. So, I've added some sort of, like, um, graves here. Some grass, and the, a tombstone. So, this is just for sort of decorating the map itself. And, don't worry about it, I'll actually, like, um, <clears throat> create a terrain generation, as you can see here, that I've started making. But, basically, this is the sort of idea. So, you're in this gravestone area, and you basically travel around. Now, another thing I should mention is if I just chuck this grass here a minute, just to show you um, how the camera moves, the fog area is always going to stay around your player, no matter where you go, which I think is quite a cool idea. Now, the way I did this is I just created the fog as a child of the camera. So, very simple, the camera just has this border here. Now, obviously, if I don't remove it, it looks like so. So, not much in the game. It's very, like, kind of new, and I'm going to be working on it right now. And I must say that I will be doing streams on it, so there'll be links to my Twitch down below as well. But, important question, guys. Would you like me to stream on YouTube or on Twitch? In all honesty, I don't know which one I should stream on and which one you'd prefer me to stream on, so go ahead and vote at the top. Below, uh, at the top. So, before this video ends, I figured we could do some stuff, so I'm going to make some nice visual effects for the games, in terms of, like, the bullet doesn't have a sprite, it's just a circle thing. So I'll create a little bullet, and I'll create a little terrain area, so that you guys can have a look at it. So, I'll be back in a bit, and you will see that. Hi guys, so I'm back, and I've added some little items, and I made some little scenery. Now, this is going to change, this is just for me to showcase what I've done, and I've also created a bullet sprite. Now, this will be it for the video and i'll show you what i've done this is only because it's just the first video it's like an introduction it's not a proper devlog either way do make sure to vote on the thing where to stream because i really don't know but basically let's press play and i'll show you what i mean so here we have some grass and little graves and i still haven't done any shadows below them so they do look a little bit odd but you will see three extra items a little like weird ball thing it's basically a skull but i need to change the way it looks a potion that's way too big and a burrito so let's showcase the three items first. So they work in a very simple way. The skulls will give you points, however I do not have a point system yet, but when you press it, loads of little skulls like like explode. So it's like a cool effect. Now this effect will be done for every single item basically, that's pick up, like that you can pick up and use. The potion will do little hearts that are broken, and then the burrito do little burritos. And the potion and the burrito will heal you and you'll get some hearts as you can see at the top there. Either way, let's go ahead and pick up the gun, no, the revolver, let's select it, and the bullet has changed, it's no longer a white circle, it's a little bullet. So if I show you what it looks like, here is the bullet that I have created in Photoshop. Now this will change, and in the actual game it's a little bit thicker on the side, so I've just changed some proportions in Unity itself, which you can see here, it's a little bit thicker and whatnot. Either way, this basically it for this video thank you so much for watching hope you are enjoying my videos and thank you for the immense amount of support now i must say these videos will be coming out and they will be a lot interesting so this isn't like a proper video just yet i'm gonna have a proper proper devlog one either way thank you for the amount of support if you did enjoy the video however please like subscribe and comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye Thank you.